Hey everyone and welcome to Joe's Light Bites. On this week's episode we're going to be creating cookie dough hummus. Most hummuses out there are actually savory so this sweet version changes things up a bit. Without further ado, let's go check out the ingredients and get started. For this recipe we will need some chickpeas or garbanzo beans. Here we have some agave and a splash of vanilla, cashew butter, cocoa powder, and some dark chocolate chips. This is optional. This is just adds a bit more of a chocolatey cookie dough flavor. You don't have to include that if you don't want to. As always, the measurements are in the description box below. All right, so the first thing we want to do, like our healthy Stoofly episode, which link is over here, is we want to take our chickpeas, open them, and drain them, and then rinse them really thoroughly. We want to get rid of all the salty brininess that's left in the chickpeas so we can make them really sweet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Our chickpeas are all rinsed, which now we will move on to our next step, which is removing all of the skins. So I have my chickpeas here. I'm going to dry them like we did in the Healthy Strufly episode. And now in this recipe, we're going to remove the skins because the secret to exceptionally creamy hummus is getting rid of these skins that are fibrous and not too great. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It should take no more than two minutes tops. It's really quick. You could roll it with the paper towels like I've done in the past, um, just so that removes the skins quicker. So I'm going to come back and I'll show you what it looks like when you're done. I removed all of the skin from the chickpeas and I'm just going to give it another quick dry, just so they're pretty dry because that will ensure that none of the saltiness from the liquid that it was held in and the can comes through when we're working with the sweet agave and the cocoa powder. And by the way guys, what is your favorite uh, hummus recipe? Leave it in the comments below, I'd love to hear. I really like, in terms of savory, I love like garlic hummus and sun-dried tomato hummus. I, roasted red pepper hummus I feel is overplayed, it's not my favorite hummus. And I know Tribe Hummus makes a um, everything bagel hummus, which is really good if you like everything bagels. So I'm going to put all of my chickpeas into the food processor. I'm using a Ninja, as you guys, as you guys probably already know, and if any loose ones fall out, just pop them back in. And there's a leftover skin, so I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to combine all of our ingredients in the food processor, so let me go get the ingredients and I'll be back. I grabbed all of our ingredients but the chocolate chips, it will save that for last. It doesn't really matter what order you go in, but in case you guys were wondering, this uh, cashew butter that we're using, you could use peanut butter if you'd like, but we're using cashew butter just because it replicates the uh, texture of tahini. Peanut butter does the same thing, but I'm not really a big fan of peanut butter. I know, I don't know how I'm living still 16 years and not eat peanut butter. It's just, I don't love it. So I'm using cashew butter. It's also much less of a peanutty, t well, much less of a nutty taste. And when you're working, when you really want a cookie dough, uh, cookie dough flavor, you want to really emphasize on the cookie and not the peanut butter. That If you like peanut butter um, chocolate chip cookies, go right ahead and add in your peanut butter instead of cashew butter. Enough with the rambling, guys. Let me just grab this cocoa butter, a cocoa powder, and lastly, our agave. So now let's food process. All right, so the last step is just to add our chocolate chips in, and then I'm gonna put this in a serving platter, and I'll show you the final result. And there you have it, a delicious, ultra creamy cookie dough hummus, and here I'm serving it with some cinnamon sugar pita chips. It's an absolute two die for combination. Guys, let me know down below if you tried this recipe, it's awesome. And also let me know any future recipes you wanna see, just leave those suggestions down below. As always, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and you could follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Joe's Light Bites, Facebook at facebook.com slash Joe's Light Bites, and Tumblr joeslightbites.com. Of course, you could check out my last two videos. It was a healthy Strufly episode right over here, and a chicken avocado pasta right over there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week on Joe's Light Bites, but until then, I'll be enjoying my cookie dough hummus.